Hi, Kathleen. Yeah, there is something else you can do here. Um, let's just open up the index page here. Uh, no, it's index 2015. Okay. All right. And what you can do here is just as a test, try this out to see. Let's go, go down to the very bottom of the site, and we're going to just scroll up a little bit from the bottom and look for the, uh, the footer. Okay. And what you should be able to do is in the code view, at least, just find where it says begin library item library shared footer. And down at the bottom here, I'm going to move up the properties here. All right, you should see an MM Alive item right here. See that? At the very end of the quick tag selector. Click that. Delete. Why is it not deleting? Delete that. Okay, there we go. Hit enter on the keyboard right away to give yourself some space. Okay, and then into this space right here, reinsert the footer. So go to your assets tab or window assets okay go find the library which is right here select the footer and then hit insert okay now go and update your footer and see if that reflects as you see here in my example it changed mass to mass 2016 now save your index page leave it open for now go to your files or actually what you can do is actually just double click on the footer that should open it right up there's your, you know, flip it over to design view if you want, right? I'm going to change this to 2017. I'm going to save. It's going to tell me which pages it's updating. And it should say right here, updating the, at least the index 2015. Okay. Hit update and close. And then you see the up, you see the index 2015 page has a little asterisk right there. That means that something has changed in the page. It needs to be saved. All right, so we already saved that page. So if I scroll up here into the and take a look into the footer library code, it actually says mass 2017 now, so I know it's been updated. But that is a little trick you can try. You can re remove and then reinsert a library asset, and that may correct the caching issue that you're having. But something's going on. Normally, just renaming the folder. That's it. I mean, the other Adobe has a whole thing on how to clear out your Windows, your your Dreamweaver cache, and fix it. But mo normally, I find just renaming the folder and creating a new site or defining a new site sorts it right out. But uh, if that doesn't work, then you can actually physically go in, yank out the existing library item, reinsert it, and that sort of gives the wake up call to Dreamweaver to say, "Hey, look, library asset being inserted." keep track of things all right now that's a bit of a pain in the neck because then you'd need to go through and whenever something's not updating just go in and manually reinsert it you know pull it out and put it back in the page so in this case say the quotator wasn't updating I would select it delete it hit enter on the keyboard make sure my cursor's in there go find the quotator small over here select it hit insert and basically just reinsert it back into the page and when you do that, you are reestablishing the link within Dreamweaver to your library asset. Okay. Uh, at least once you save the page, you are, right? And it should update. But that's when it goes and updates the cache file and says, oh, this page is using this asset. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe the, the, the cache isn't being updated properly or something. 